to yeet or not to yeet when it comes with when it comes to Jey Uso against Gunther, Robin Ludberg, Kevin Zwicker here with you, and that's a tough one, Kevin, to book for me because if I'm looking at this and and they're meeting up next week on Raw in, in the King of the Ring tournament. I really want Gunther to go to the main event. And he already lost to Sammy at WrestleMania, which was brilliantly done. But you want him to look dominant again like he did during that IC title run. At the same time, Jey Uso is so freaking popular. At some point, you have to pay that off. He can't keep catching an L in every single big spot. And what's a better spot for him to pay that off than King Yeet? This is a tough spot to be Triple H, isn't it? I mean, you you hit the nail on the head, honestly, dude. I feel like the momentum is in Jay Uso's side. The crowd is behind him. Everywhere you go, you're hearing yeet this, yeet that. You know, he has the fireflies thing going on right now. But at the same time, in my opinion, Gunther is the greatest intercontinental champion, at least in the last 20 years. So I feel like it's one of those situations where it's like, I don't know, we, are we going to get a swerve finish? Are we going to get, you know, a, a smiles fest? I really don't know what we're going to get. And I feel like that's an exciting position to be in. Yeah, I mean, because, for instance, does Gunther lose clean if he loses to Jay? And if someone's going to mess that up, who is that? That is then the, the you know, the, the guy to go opposite Gunther? Because that has to be a real heavy. You have to set up a real big thing. They foreshadowed Dragunov against Gunther down the road, but I don't think that's there yet. And then if... Uso doesn't win again. How does he lose? You know, like, because uh, uh, eventually that's got to catch up with him, right? Like, he can't lose every time, and everybody still is doing this every time. No, he cannot lose every single time, man. I feel like a lot of times, you know, even when a guy is, like, super hot, you know, the crowd eventually, once a, a guy loses so many times, he kind of just tails off. So I don't know how this is going to factor in unless – Unless, and this is just, you know, a tinfoil hat theory, dude. Don't take it to the bank or anything like that. I wouldn't advise you to go to DraftKings with this. Unless somehow they weave Jey Uso back into the bloodline some way, somehow. That's the only way I could sit there and say it's okay for Jey Uso to cl lose clean in this situation because he would have bigger things ahead for him. Well, I, I do think Jay's going back into the bloodline. I, I think you're seeing a Roman Usos reunion with that bloodline against the solo bloodline with uh, Tama Tonga and eventually Jacob Fatu and whoever else might be manipulating things behind the scenes. <laughs> Rocky, you know, like any of that stuff that, that goes on. But in the meantime, I think I'm putting main event Jay over here. You know, Gunther can he – can, he can deal with it. He can still get – he's – he built up so much that I don't think it goes away. And this is maybe a unique opportunity where you don't have to put the strap on Jay. You could give him that coronation. You could pay off all of that support and, and have him beat somebody like Gunther in route to it. I don't know. It just feels like the, the timing is lining up for that. I do feel like that as well. I do feel like, you know, outside of Cody – you know, we do need this second-tier big-time baby face, and I do feel like Jey Uso is that guy. So if it's a situation where it's a long, let's say, 25, 30-minute back-and-forth contest where it's like Guther loses by, like, the hair off his chin, I do believe it's a situation he can survive, and I am in agreement with you. I do feel like it is Jey Uso's time. And, and again, maybe something can cost Gunther to set up the, the next chapter for him as well, because they got to figure out the direction for Gunther also. For sure. For sure. I feel like Gunther is the future. I feel like Gunther is the heir apparent to whenever Cody Rose does lose that title. I do believe it should be to Gunther. So that is the guy who I feel like is pegged as the heir apparent for that championship. Yeah, Gu Gunther and, and Randy Orton are the two guys I want to see Cody Rose face. For sure, man. Especially with you know Randy and Cody. That's a story that they could – you know, do plenty of callbacks, you know. I don't know his legal situation, but I would like to see them bring in, you know, Ted DiBiase Jr. for a cameo if possible. <laughs> a million-dollar idea? Perhaps not. <laughs>